Hi, welcome to Sharon My Art, where our next step, you've, you've transferred your picture to your paper. We're going to paint it. I'm going to show you how to lift color, how to blend colors, and how to, to move your paint around so it looks like one color drips into the other. All right, here we go. Okay, now we've learned the techniques. We've got our image on the paper and I taped it down while you weren't looking and this is called Artist Low Tack Tape. It's white. It uh, comes off. It won't raise, your, won't raise your paper. You can get it in a roll like this. Artist Tape. Mostly at art supply places. Um, Michaels has it. I don't know. I don't think Joann's does but uh, Artist Supply Places definitely have it. I like to tape this down because it will buckle, but after I paint it, I iron it. I iron it with no steam because it's cotton. It's just like material and uh, then it, it irons out flat. So if I get some rumples in it, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay? Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is tell you that I always have a, a clean clean water tank and a dirty one. This will be the one I dip my brushes in. This is the one that I'm just going to keep for uh, clean water. And this petal right here is the lightest. So I'm going to wet my paper and wherever I put water, that's where the paint will go. If I don't put water out here, no matter what I do, that paint won't go out there. It, it's kind of a surface tension thing and it will just stay right where you put it. The paint will just stay right on, uh, right in the water. So I'm going to dampen this petal. And one thing in watercolor, you go from light to dark. Um, your white, your the white of your your design you leave white. You don't uh, use white paint. So you're going from light to dark because you can cover up the light but because we don't use white you can't really um, cover up the dark. Alrighty. Okay, so that's all wet. You can see it's starting to buckle a little bit. Now I'm going to take this yellow, lemon yellow, and I took a little bit of this cadmium yellow, mixed it together. I'm going to test it over here on my on my test board. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think I'll use that. making more of a puddle than I need because I may want to use this on another another petal. Oh yeah, that's going to be perfect. Now in watercolor I don't want to go back over here because then I don't want to I don't want to get blossoms. So just put your lightest color on. And in watercolor, this is going to dry 30% lighter than it is on the paper. So we have to remember that. It's not going to be this dark, even though this isn't very dark. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now we've got some real light over here and some darker. Mm -hmm. Okay, one thing I don't want to do is this leaf right here because it's touching. And this has already started to dry, so if I put wet on here, it's going to just suck right over there and make a big blossom. So I don't want I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to do this leaf right here. And I'm going to do it in the same kind of the same color, maybe maybe put a little bit of more of a dark or maybe some orange in there. So this whole leaf right here. That's what I'm going to do. I mean the petal. 
So I'm going to wet it first. And remember, the paint is only going to go where I put the water. We're not dry brushing. We're, we're wet, using a wet on wet technique. And that's what this is called. Wetting your paper and then putting wet paint on top. So it only is going to go where I, put the, uh, where I put the water. Okay. And I'm going to change up my color just a little bit. Add a, bit, a little bit of this and add a little bit of orange. Okay, so that's kind of a pretty low color. And we're going to go here. Now I'm not going to get blossoms because I'm starting on this end and just going down to this other one. The papers is all wet. Okay. I like that color. It looks good. Now, while it... Uh, it's still wet. I can take a brush that's drier and I can pull some paint out. Yeah, real dry brush. No, that's not dry, that's wet. Get the right, the right one here. Let's use this scrub one. Nope, I'm not doing it. Whoops! <laughs> My brush fell apart. kind of give this some direction just a beginning see how I can just almost make that white can you see that Ryan mm -hmm. because that paint is sitting on top of that paper it hasn't soaked in yet this is a dry brush so I can pull it right out of there You can almost just see that paint being pushed around. Okay, that's one technique of how to get these petals, you know, their shape to, to start to uh, show up. All right. This is the first petal we did, real light wash, light wash of, of yellow, because I can put this darker yellow in later. And if it's cool to the touch, it's not dry yet. And this is still a little bit cool, so, you know, we're not ready to paint something right next to it. So we've got this petal that's next to it, this petal that's next to it, this petal that's next to this, that's not dry yet. 
and this petal that's next to both of them. So we have to we have to wait. We have to be a little bit patient, um, or it will backwash into it and make those blossoms, and we don't want that. And do the third petal. This one we're going to get some real blending in. Get it all wet, nice and saturated, because we're going to do some movement here. I'll try to uh, get this this red in here, moving up into the orange. All righty. following my pencil line because remember that paint only goes where this water is. I'm going to put a little bit more water on it because I want this paint to move. Okay, let's see what happens here. We never know. We're going to dip into our yellow, kind of get a little puddle going here, because we want it light at the top. Like I said, we're going to make that one darker later. But right now, we're just going to get some paint on here. I'm going to throw a little orange in here. put some red and burnt umber to get this color here in the bottom. And then we want this all to blend. move this let's move some yellow and orange down in here and while it's wet we can do all kinds of things we can lift some color lift some color out give that some movement And I'm going to add a little more down here since it's still wet. And I like to, uh, you know, get some of that redness out with that burnt sienna. Okay. See how that washes down there? You have, don't touch it with your brush. All right. Okay, this is what I was looking for right here, this blending of these colors. I'm darkening this later, and I'm going to take my brush that... Uh, only has clear water on it and soften these edges right in here you know this is kind of a hard edge so just take your water 
We'll soften that a little bit. Mary's? Okay, we're going to let these dry and then uh, in the next video we'll, we'll move on and show you the rest of the painting. Okay, we're going to put our brush up for today and the next video we'll continue with this hibiscus. Uh, today I've shown you how to put a light wash on here. We'll put darker colors on later. We've done this blending right here that turned out pretty good. Okay, with the with the the dark coming into the lighter colors, and uh, this will not be the finish. And then on the bottom petal, I showed you how to lift some color, you know, with a dry brush when this was wet. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you later on sharing my art. Don't forget to, mm, let's see, subscribe and like. Bye.